So according to reports, infertility is a worldwide problem affecting 8 to 15 percent of couples in their reproductive stage. This morning, joining us is Pastor Itwa Igodalo to talk about the Ibidu Igodalo Foundation, which is a non-profit. Good morning, Pastor Itwa. Good morning. How are you all? Thank you very much very for good. having me this morning. Once again, I'd like to offer my condolences to the entire family of Igodalos and Ajayi. I'm so sorry for the loss of such a wonderful woman. Thank you. Thank you very much. So the project, the foundation is trying to raise uh, money to help 40 families with this process. Um, could you tell us about the objective exactly? What are you trying to achieve and how far have you gone so far? Well, this is just the first in many things that um, the foundation wants to do. Um, the objective is to try and bring soccer to a lot of families uh, going through her own process. My wife realized that there's quite a high rate of people who are believing God for children, looking for children from different means, uh, medical and uh, spiritual, where necessary. And she made up her mind that wherever she was able to raise resources, she would help and support as many people as possible to actually have their own children, uh, or at least have children they can call their own and live a balanced family life. How do you plan to select? So what's the selection process going to be like for those 40 families that will end up having to be a part of this? To select, very, very transparent. Uh, we're looking for 40 IVF. So you go to the website, www.ibiduniigodalo.com or www.ibiduniigodalofoundation.org. Go to the website. There's a form there. Click on it, fill the form, give us your details. First of all, we're looking for couples who have been married, five years, no child. We don't want couples that have had children before or who are in secondary uh, infertility, no. Okay. At least five okay. years, no child. Secondly, we want the couples to prove that they are unable to afford the procedure on their income, but they can look after the child. Three, we want the lady to be below 50 so that we can avoid any risk uh, as best as possible. Number four, we're looking for couples who have been married longer, okay, without them having children. But the minimum is at least five years. They fill that form, they go through the process, there's a weeding to ensure that the couples that we find fall in this category, then they go for medical examination. The medical examination must prove to us that as they are, the process can continue. What is the duration of the project and is it a one-off is it a one-off thing or are you going to be doing it annually? Um, this project is running through a one-year cycle. A year starts from July to June. Um, we do this annually. Uh, we may not be able to do 40 couples every year, depending on the resource that we have. But this has been going on through since 2016, formally. We've been doing an average of uh, 12 couples a year since 2016. Before that, informally, between my wife and I, we've supported several couples at different times through the project, uh, process of reproduction. But this will continue annually. Uh, we just cannot say how many, maybe right. more, maybe right. a little bit less. Uh, by tomorrow, which is the 5th of August, the site closes because we opened on the 19th, which was her birthday. We close on the 5th, close of business, which is um, uh, three weeks we gave. And thereafter, we begin the process of weeding down. So um, we're, we're hoping that we can get in all the monies in the next couple of weeks. This seems to be a huge project. Obviously, everything has been set aside for this. Um, how many personnel are you engaging to support you on this? Or do you need volunteers to support you on this? We have a good structure. We have a board. I chair the board. Then we have a group of people led by Mrs. Bali and Mrs. Fasinro who are helping us with the fundraising. So there's a fundraising committee. And we have about six or seven full-time staff on the ground who are doing all sorts of things.